What's up, Vine Church? You need a little pick-me-up? Well, let's jump right in. You know, there's this universal, psychological, human need for acceptance and validation. We all have it. We all long for it. And even if you don't want to admit it, it drives a big portion of our life and our decision-making. But we all kind of know that we're never really going to find our rest. Our souls won't rest till they find their rest in their maker. And so the validation and acceptance that we're really looking for comes from our creator. But in our broken bent, we'll accept the counterfeit. We'll look to other broken people to fill that need for validation and acceptance. And in so doing, it creates a cycle of broken behavior. We'll look at others and say, I hope they accept me, hope they receive me, hope they like me, all fear-based thinking. Or we'll look at others and say, I'm better than them. Look how much better I am than her or him. That's all judgment-based thinking. Both of those are broken roads and don't really lead to our peace and fulfillment. That's exactly what's taking place in Galatians chapter 2. Paul records this early church community experience in Antioch where Peter, who is a Jew, they're there together in this church community and Peter begins to pull back from the Gentiles out of fear of what the other Jews might think of him. Starting in verse 12 of chapter 2, it says this, For before certain men came from James, Peter used to eat with the Gentiles. But when they arrived... He began to draw back and separate himself from the Gentiles because he was afraid of those who belonged to the circumcision group. He was afraid of what they would think of him. He was looking for acceptance from them. Now, here's the deal. That dynamic we all have, and it drives some really poor decision-making in a lot of our lives. You ever seen these, um, these horse blinders? You seen these? Horse blinders. They put these on working horses or racing horses so that they'll focus on what's ahead of them. They take away their peripheral vision, things that might distract and spook them, and they're focused on what's in front of them. Here's the crazy thing. Panasonic actually has a prototype of horse blinders for people. Like, this may actually happen. There might be a future where we're wearing these things. And if you think that's crazy, I guess at first glance it probably is. We probably need that, spiritually speaking. We probably need to be less focused on others and the circumstances around us and more focus on God. I mean, that's what the gospel is about, right? The gospel is the answer to right standing with your creator. And so no matter what anyone else says, no matter what anyone else speaks into your life, do you trust that God is for you and not against you? And will you let that be the driving focus of your life? And maybe, just maybe, it's time to admit that we need to have less focused on what's around us, on the people around us, on the circumstances around us, and more trust in him. It'll reduce the fear. It'll take away the judgment. Give it a try. Love you. Mean it.